Hey everybody, it's your commission here uh, with some breaking news for you. Not really so much breaking, but just an update to our tie breaking procedures. Uh, it was pointed out to me by one of the owners that in the handout that I give to you guys every year, that there is a, a section regarding tie breakers for uh, wildcard teams. So I went and looked at it today and uh, he was correct. It is there. Um, it states that the, should there be a tie for one of the wildcard spots, the tiebreaker will be as follows. And there are three. So there's head-to-head -head record, uh, total points for the highest, and then total points against the highest. Um, as I've had the concern with in the past, this sometimes is an issue because what happens is that we usually have a tie for three. There's a tie between three teams for the wildcard spot. But because we have this in our rules, we kind of have to use this as our rules. The Good news is that nothing really changes from what I posted before because there are two scenarios going through my notes from last night. There are two scenarios where, again, there are three teams that have the potential to be tied uh, after this weekend's games. So there's the potential that the Rockers, the Stunners, and Rad Matt will be tied for a playoff spot. They all have the same record potentially. Uh, let me just look at my notes here real fast. There's the potential that they will have all a 5-7 and seven record. <clears throat> Should that happen, and using the three rules that are listed uh, in the uh, Rusty Truck document for the tie for the wildcard spots, using the tiebreaker uh, for head-to-head -head record, and this is the part that sucks, but we kind of have to go with it, and it's something that we've talked, well, I think we may have talked about in the past, or I've wanted to talk about in the past and keep forgetting about uh, the winner of the wild card stays the same. It's Matt and the Rockers. Matt because he's got a 2 one one record. And the Rockers with the 1-1-1 one -on -one -one record. The Stunners lose out because they are 1-2 against those two teams. Thus, the worst percentage. Uh, the other scenario is, again, works out the same way. There's the potential that there are three teams. The Rockers, Handful, and Matt could be tied with a 4-8 and eight record. The Stunners are in with a 6-6 six and six if they win this weekend. The other team to make it in, once again, would be Matt. Simply because he has a 2-0 and record against the Rockers and Handful. The Rockers and Handful are both 1-2. and two. Thus, Matt, the better percentage of 1,000. The other two teams, not so good. Um, so, yeah. So, there's that. There, that is, there's that issue. It's taken care of. Everything that it was in the commissioner comments stays the same as far as the potential for those teams to make it in or not, even using the rules that were just, again, brought up to me in our Rusty Truck document. Uh, part two to this has to deal with uh, what is actually on the website. So if you go to the website and if you click on League and if you go to League Details and if you go all the way to the bottom, as was pointed out to me by <clears throat> excuse me, another owner this morning, it talks about... Uh, schedule and playoffs and it talks about uh, standings tiebreakers division uh, winner tiebreaker and playoff matchup tiebreakers all i can say to that is we don't use that part of the website and the reason i pointed out to the owner is because that part of the website there are not enough options for me to choose how we choose our tiebreakers much like the example i gave him where the tiebreaker we have for uh, game tiebreakers which is the highest scoring player active player on the roster that's not an option so we've decided to use to leave those games as a tie and that i manually change the outcome of the game on the site same thing with the tiebreakers for division winners and for um the other the seedings that there's not enough options there so we don't even use that part of the site it's unfortunate it's there i can't delete it it has to stay there so basically as I've done in the past and for how many years, the the seedings is done using NFL tiebreakers. And I've pointed out to a couple of owners over text messages today that the reason for that is because we've always been more of a, a game value-based league and not a points-based league. Otherwise, you just become a pool. And whoever has the most points wins. And we've tried to stay away from that. Uh, we've tried to make it with more emphasis on the game itself. So... That is why we've used the NFL tiebreakers because much like they're a league, we're a league, that's what we've ran with. Now, that's for this year. 
I've had rumblings from a couple of owners that they would like to see changes to it, and I've got no problem with that. So what we'll do at the summer meeting, after this year is over, we will look at that, everything, we'll sit down, we'll talk about it, and we'll go from there. And if you guys decide we want to change how the tiebreakers are, I've got no problem with that. This is everybody's league. Everybody has an equal vote. Whatever you guys choose, we use. It's as simple as that. But for now, what we have in place is what we're going with. And what we've done in the past, like last year, we're going to use this year. So my apologies to those who don't like it. I hope you now understand it. And if you don't, I'll be happy to talk it over with you over a beer sometime. So good luck, everybody who's playing this weekend and whose games actually mean something. Unlike myself and Dusty and Labrat and Touchdown there and, and Potsy and, and Titty. So, and Tannis. So, everybody else, good luck. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Have fun. And uh, we'll be in touch with you soon.